In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a half court press press break. This is so that we can always be able to beat these half court presses that try to challenge us. Let's get down, let's check these out. Okay, so right off the bat, one of the more popular ones right now is a diamond or a one, two, one, one half court press. To beat it, we have to know what their main goal is, and that is to try to trap our teams along the sideline once they get past half. As soon as they get past half, they're going to try and trap us. So what is our goal? We need to get that ball up the middle. That is what we need to be able to do. There's three big weak points when it comes to a half court press in most cases. A major, major, major weakness is down the middle. And of course, if this is a very slow player, sometimes the corners can be a good alternative if we want to be able to get that ball there quickly and then get the ball back up into the middle. However, 99.9% .9 of the time, we need to be trying to hit a player down the middle. However, what will happen, let's just say, for example, we try to dribble down between these two gaps or between this gap that's going to be cut off really quickly. They're going to try and push you towards the sideline. So you could use this to your advantage to gather those two players there and then do a quick pass out. But it depends on the height of that player. If these two players here are super tall and some teams will do this where they will stack their three tallest players if they're fast up front so that now your guards who may be shorter try to attack those gaps they'll close it off and if that player doesn't pass early enough into that trap or into that double team if he doesn't pass out fast enough then he's going to get that ball stolen so what can we do well first off a quick easy press break as these two players cross you get that ball in and then of course that inbounder is our point guard and he's going to get that ball up he is going to then of course attack the middle and now we want players three and two to go super wide we do not want these players too close to player one because at this point that's just going to be clogging up the middle we want a lot of space so one way is how I like to run it is having players 4 and 5 go towards the middle of the court. We do not want them to be next to each other. Again, it's going to be too clogged. We want them to be kind of on the side of those keys. Or if this is like a half court 3-2, then at po that point, one of them would try to go to the point. We want to try and hit one of those two players, maybe with a quick fake pass and then over to the other one and at that point we would have players two and three running down the sidelines so that now player five we don't want him to dribble right away we want him to pivot to face the net and now he may have the option to pass to either players two or player three if he doesn't have that pass let's say it was really well covered then at that point we would have player five still hold on to that ball so that one of our guards will be able to get that ball and we can set up our offense now another option that I personally like is to have players four and five set a screen for that lead man on that press still having players two and three running down court at this point player one would then decide to take either the right side or the left side using one of these two screens as an option which would then draw up player four and would draw up usually player three or four and bring them over in which case player three is now open in this corner before player one makes contact with two he wants to get that ball through. The closer this defender is to you, the harder that pass is going to be. So as soon as you come off that screen, as soon as player two red starts to move towards you, you need to get that pass through to player three. And now he can run up and set up the offense, or we can go potentially two on one with player five, depending on the situation. Another option is having either player two or three setting the screen up top. And if that screen is set, we can even set a double, what I call a sandwich, screen it doesn't really matter at that point players five and four would move down player one would be attacking one of those sides again draws that player brings players over we can get that ball to player four quickly he can attack the rim or set up the offense whether this is a full court or a half court press it doesn't necessarily matter how i like to explain to my players is usually there's a volleyball court on the basketball court if you play at a high school, you'll generally see this. You want to keep that ball 
inside of that volleyball court. If you go outside of that volleyball court towards the sidelines, you're potentially getting trapped. We really do not want to see that happen, so try to keep it up the middle inside of that volleyball court, and you're going to be generally doing pretty good. I hope that this video helps you be able to beat half-court presses. If it does, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.